what is the second thing you must transfer to the next generation are you ready the second thing that qualifies to be called an inheritance is your name the second thing you should transfer to your children as a good man is your name write it down your name means your credibility your name means your track record your name means your impact your name means your value and your contribution the second thing that is worth transferring for succession to happen to be called a good man according to scripture is your name at the end of your life your name will either be a key or a padlock there is no being neutral at the end of your life whether as a preacher as a leader as a businessman and as a parent your name to those who are before you will be a padlock or will be a key it will either lock the doors and the destinies of people multiplying hardship or it will open doors for them if you're with me please shout amen, amen. everybody say your name, your name. Mm. even jesus gave us his name he said use my name don't mind the devil don't forget about how he looks whenever you see him use my name he said in my name there are possibilities that happen it is not only the name of Jesus that is powerful the name of a man is an investment of his track record his credibility there are names in this country if you call you will get a job immediately even if there is no space they will create it because that name is a track record of investment of many years hallelujah there are people who when favor is about to happen to you you keep praying that the name is not mentioned within that environment because the moment that name is mentioned there will be a reversal of that favor john which john the the tall one no please leave my office because with that name has come the memory of pain in 1975 that was the wicked man who caused trouble now the man has gone to be with the lord and yet people are still suffering because of his name can i tell you you are a failure truly if you cannot transfer your name i don't mean the spelling of it i mean the power that you would have accumulated in that name through many years so next time your son comes or your daughter or your subordinate and say give me my inheritance tell them i hope you are not talking of money sit down let me tell you the name you carry contains within it favor god has used that name to lift many take advantage of that name there are people who may not have physical money but their children will never beg for food you know why because even though they were cleaners their track record their integrity gave them a name and tomorrow they will say who this name it looks familiar they'll say my father is that carpenter i don't care if he's the carpenter come and you sit here let me tell you the world that we live in now most people will be lifted by the name they carry more than just their intellectual investment i can tell you in a city like Abuja the first thing I learned when I moved into this city is that most of the things that happen to people is is not so much of course there is a place for meritocracy but I can tell you names can be a leverage there are people today who want to change different parts of their names for safety is that true because when they found out the stories behind that name they said this is too much battle i can't i can't spend my life fighting something i don't know anything about your name jesus said in my name take that name walk wonders with it when god makes your name great even when you are not there the name remains there and other people can come and use that name it's like a vehicle are we together the vehicle does not care who drives it just make sure it is driven and it will move please learn it your name is not just certain initials to identify you there are people today who have gotten jobs beyond their educational qualifications because of names 
may your name be a key in the name of Jesus Christ there are kings there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are thrones but only a Shua will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end